Shots fired. Shots fired. Shot in the line of duty. Give me Maddox. Shot in the left arm. For the first time, the Sanibel police officer is talking about that November night. I was seated in my in my car. Ambushed. You know, think it, it was two rounds. In his patrol car. One of them hit me in my, my left shoulder. Officer Jared Ciccone is patrolling the Sanibel streets again. In an exclusive interview, he talked with Wink News reporter Nicole Valdez about the life-changing experience. I didn't even know it was coming. I didn't stand a chance. Sergeant Jared Ciccone is a man of few words. But for the first time, he's choosing to speak up about the night he was shot. I was just like any other night. It's not an easy moment to relive, but he takes us back to where it all happened. It happening out here was probably what shocked people the most. Shots fired, shots fired. Give me Maddox, shot in the left arm. November 20th, 2016, almost 8 p.m. The 11-year veteran pulled a driver over for speeding. I uh, was on my computer, and I just heard a loud noise. Uh, I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what, what happened. And then I realized uh, I was shot the minute I smelled gunpowder. I've been shot in the arm. Thankfully, it wasn't my head. Two shots went through the driver's side window of his cruiser. One bullet into his left shoulder. Oh, it was painful. It was extremely painful. And even while it was in there, you felt it, but I was alive. Three months later, he was back on the job. I'm doing well. But it took some time for him to ease back into things. Did you ever think that this would be something that would happen to you? From the day you start, from the day you're in the academy, you realize that this is something that can happen to any, any one of us. Uh, it seems like right now uh, we're going through a time where you know, people hate cops. You know, it seems like it's a very dangerous profession to be in right now. So why does he still do it? Um, it's just all I know how to do. It's been almost a year since that terrifying night. The sergeant says he's tried to put it all behind him, but he has a long way to go. John Hay now awaits trial for attempted murder where Ciccone will have to testify. I don't know his thought, thought process. I don't know why he did it. I don't know that I'll ever know. As the days go by, the only visible scar on his shoulder. He still puts his uniform on every day, but deep down, some wounds won't ever go away. It's not something you uh, will ever forget. And the amount of strength and courage it really took him to get back to the job after okay. something so traumatic was definitely powerful. His training really kicked in. I mean, he was so he composed, did everything he needed to do, even though that was the first time he'd ever been shot. Yeah, interesting. So yeah. calm about it now. I guess you kind of have to make peace with it as best as you can. And you try to move forward, but right. he said he's never going to forget about this. All right. Thanks, All Nicole. Right. Thanks.